Yo, gentlemen's game here. First off, I just want to thank y'all for supporting me and watching my videos. I realized the other day it's been two years already since I first started on YouTube, and never did I ever expect to go from 2,000 subscribers to over 185k within just one year. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. Alright, now let's get on to the video. Ever wonder how some guys just seem naturally smooth around women? Like the way they just effortlessly string together sentences in a way that make women fall for them? Chances are you've seen this in real life before, and it made you a bit envious. Well, I touch on one of the most important secrets to being smooth in this video if you haven't seen it yet, but basically it's being able to control your emotions so you're not too phased by anything. Guys who are smooth never seem too excited or depressed by anything, they just have this even keeled way of expression. But I wanted to expand on that idea in this video. You see, the core idea behind being in control of your emotions is simply not taking anything too seriously. And I know that might sound kind of vague or generic, like what does that mean exactly to not take anything too seriously? I mean obviously you gotta take something seriously like your love and your career, right? So I want you to think back to an awkward, maybe cringeworthy moment or interaction you had with a girl you liked or found attractive. Maybe you stuttered or you were so nervous you just repeated the same few words over and over again, wanting to get the hell out of there. I can relate to moments like that because I've been there. I know what it's like to have butterflies float up from your stomach to your brain, leaving you like a paralyzed little chimp, scared and hesitant to say or do anything with her. Now, when you have this cringe moment play out in your head again, and you really dissect that terrible interaction, why was it so awkward? Chances are it was because you weren't able to freely express yourself. You were in your head, racked with anxiety. You were probably nervous and fearful for how she'd react, because if you said the wrong thing, you'd risk looking stupid or offending her. In other words, you're giving way too much meaning to this interaction, when in reality it should just be a casual, light-hearted, fun thing. And this is what I mean to take things too seriously, being fearful of all the potential outcomes that might happen and making yourself look dumb. See, the reason guys take things too seriously and prevent themselves from communicating in a casual, smooth way is because they have thin skin. They care too much what others think of them. They feel the need to defend themselves because they're subconsciously uncomfortable in their own bodies. See, you can only develop thick skin from life experience. This is why so many younger guys especially are more socially anxious and struggle with being smooth, because they lack the life experience necessary to develop thick skin. So of course you're not going to be smooth if you have thin skin, because any potential failure or setback feels like a huge life or death deal. You know, there's an interesting study I read that humans need to solve problems. You know, back when we were in tribes and villages, we always needed to be on the lookout against dangerous animals, right? We had to secure food and water, fight invaders from other territories. So we developed these brains that almost need to find problems to fix. And now in the 21st century, most people can expect to live to a reasonable age. Right, they have most of their basic safety needs met if they have a job. So when you have a roof over your head, your next meal secured, and the reasonable assumption that no one's gonna break into your home and kill you, there are no more problems to solve related to imminent danger. And this is when people will start to create their own problems to solve. Right, they'll make problems where there was nothing wrong at all. You see, the mind can be a powerful tool, but also a source of great suffering. It'll take trivial, non-important things like rejection from a stranger and treat it as a life or death problem to avoid because there's nothing else to treat as a serious problem. So that really is the secret to being smooth if you're struggling to flirt with women, to thicken your skin, to gain the life experiences needed to make you tougher to the point where getting rejected by a girl seems trivial to the point where it feels like no matter how she replies, it ain't a big deal in the grand scheme of things. When you can successfully accomplish this, then being smooth will be a natural byproduct because you'll be communicating to women with freedom. The freedom to be yourself, to express yourself gracefully, but also without giving an F what anyone thinks about you. When a girl can sense this calm, relaxed energy in you, and she knows that you don't take yourself too seriously and you're not judging her, 
she'll relax around you as well, right? She'll give you less tests and lower her guard a bit around you because she can sense you're not desperate, you're just having some fun. She'll feed off your good vibes and vice versa, leading to a naturally authentic, smooth and flirty interaction. So now this begs the question, how do you thicken your skin? How do you learn how to not take anything too seriously? For me personally, I have a funny story about some games that I'd play with my friend when we were in our late teens. See back then, I was like everything I just mentioned previously, socially anxious, couldn't look women in the eye, scared to flirt with them and risk looking dumb in front of everyone, so I decided I needed to go on this journey of self-improvement. And so one day my friend comes to me with an idea, let's play a game. We'll play Slapjack by the stairs of the public library. Right, and every time we finish a round, the loser has to do some embarrassing thing in the middle of the street. And keep in mind this area next to the library had a lot of foot traffic, so chances were a lot of people would see. Now what's the point of this again, I'd ask? And he'd explain that by being forced to do something embarrassing in the middle of the crowd, you were toughening up your tolerance to looking stupid and cultivating the mentality of someone who didn't give an F. Now I was hesitant at first of course, but eventually I agreed to it and managed to convince my other buddy Archie to join us. The more the merrier, I figured. And so that's what we did. On Saturday afternoons, we'd meet by the steps of the library, play 15 to 20 rounds of slapjack, and dared each other to do all sorts of embarrassing things. I remember I was dared to plank in the middle of the sidewalk, forcing other people to walk around me. I also had to put on my earbuds, close my eyes, and passionately dance in the middle of the street for everyone to laugh at. I also remember the time I dared my friend to propose to a random old man passing by, or the other time I dared him to ask strangers on the street if they could smell what The Rock was cooking. <laughs> Man, thinking back to those days gives me nostalgia. Every time I lost a game of Slapjack and got dared to do some cringy, embarrassing thing in public, it literally almost gave me anxiety-induced panic attacks at first. But then slowly, week by week, I became callous to the whole thing. And both my friends also experienced the same thing. The more we played that Slapjack game and made fools of ourselves, the more we realized we were going to be okay no matter what afterwards. And however embarrassing it was, we were still whole. We were basically training ourselves to stay calm and not take things too seriously even in situations where 99% of people would blush with redness. And knowing that I had thicker skin than the average person gave me a certain level of power, right? It gave me a certain confidence that I carried over to all other aspects of my life, whether asking a stupid question in front of coworkers or approaching that cute girl by the bar. Right? Because true confidence, the type that leads you to be smooth with women, it doesn't come from, she'll like me. Right? True confidence comes from, I'll be fine if she doesn't. So, if you can, I highly suggest challenging yourself in a similar way to thicken your skin. I'm not saying you have to play the same game me and my friends did, but here's maybe something you can try. I call it the honesty challenge. Write down a list of your 10 biggest insecurities. If you're insecure because of your height, your acne, your financial status, whatever it is, write it down. Then, I challenge you to stand in a public area, maybe a park or by a busy intersection, and read out loud your list of 10 insecurities. Right, slowly go through it one by one, like, my name is Ryan and I'm insecure about the fact that X. And I could tell that just the thought of doing what I just suggested, it's probably giving a lot of you anxiety and fear. In fact, 90% of the people watching this video probably won't be able to find it within themselves to do the challenge. But for the 10% of guys who do commit to the honesty challenge, I promise it will be rewarding in the long run. You see, similar to the game I played with my friends back when I was 19, you're gonna have all these uncomfortable feelings you're gonna have to confront, right? Embarrassment, fear that people will laugh at you, shame because you're being vulnerable to strangers. However, just like with my story, it gets easier. And by the time you finish reading your list, you'll probably be pissing your pants a bit less with embarrassment. Doing this challenge just once, I feel, will give you a taste of what it means to be okay with the feeling of social discomfort. 
And the more you're able to sit in peace with that discomfort, the thicker your skin becomes, and the more you'll carry yourself with this freedom of not being so concerned with what other people think of you. Right? Being smooth and confident is just really a byproduct of this attitude. So that's it for the video, and to summarize today, we talked about one of the secrets to being smooth, which is to grow thicker skin to being more resilient to social anxiety. A man who's completely comfortable in his own skin no matter what, will naturally ooze a confident, smooth energy around the woman in his life. Thanks for watching the video guys, things have been a bit hectic for me the last month so I couldn't make as many videos, but expect more frequent uploads the rest of the year. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up, it really helps out the channel. And as always, next week I have a special video planned, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Peace.